It's mm -hmm. called Wheelman. Yeah. Wait a minute. I've seen your channel. You probably have. I've that's, seen your channel. Ain't you got one on there where you got pulled over? Oh, it's manual. Of course it is. Spire they had to do it that way. An electric motor can't handle the torque, right? I've had one last day. Well, this is the best thing to change your fucking yeah, life. Yeah, I knew I was. The mic holes, if you can help. Where's mic holes on the side? There's a oh, few of them. You. You'll see they're like little pinholes. Where's your key? Okay. Alright, so we got the key. Never driven. I don't think I've had one Mustang. Well, this is the Mustang that'll change your fucking yeah, life. Yeah, I knew I was trying to get a GT before I got that with a blower on it. And uh they they just wouldn't sit still, man. The cars would sell and like how do I get this thing to recline back? Back? Yeah, like lumbar. Oh, it's manual. Of course it is. Inspired racing. They had to do it that way. An electric motor can't handle the torque. Right? But yeah, Mustang GTs would not sit still. And it just got annoying trying to hunt them down. I found like one in Georgia. It was gone in like 72 hours. Turn it into sport mode. I think I'm ready. No, nope, I need to go forward a little bit. Small fry life. <laughs> Have you sold any of these yet? No, dude. They speak of the handling and the brakes on these things like nobody's business. Yeah, it's got the Brembo's on it. I'll hold the camera down until we get going. Wait, don't see me over there. Damn, first person I've ever rode with knows how to drive a stick. Well, you, this one's even weirder. This clutch is a lot lighter than I thought is it? it would be. Yeah. It definitely doesn't even feel spring loaded. A lot of people say these things don't handle power for nothing, but I've seen them eat 700. Shit. But yeah, it's a lot lighter than I would have thought. The steering wheel's pretty legit, though. It's a lot torquier down low than I expected it to be. That was my main thing. Well, I even like this car. It doesn't have enough torque. seen your channel. You probably have. I've that's, seen that's your channel. Ain't you got one on there where you got pulled over? Maybe. I've seen with your what? channel. With what? Doing what? What was this? Was you on a bike? Yeah. Well, I've got some of cops in the photo. Somebody nailed that, that Nissan. <laughs> Man, start playing with the flat plane crank RPMs.
great ride along for you too. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, I can get you some good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, can get I, got good I got some good commentary. I can get you that good shit. I got some good commentary. I can have you laugh in the balls. Fact, the fact that you know the word commentary, you'd be surprised how many of my friends I put a camera in their hand. Just give me no a fat fool and I'm good to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you laugh for hours, bro. been hounding him all day about looking at Corvette values. Interested. I knew that if I even liked this car, I need to go get numbers. I need to find out yeah. where I sit with the Fed. You know, I need to find out if the payment's going to be like a fuck. That would be great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. Sorry, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what was that? I don't know, but we got to pull over and find out real quick. I think it was just a piece of trash hanging up in the wheel. Well, let's just make sure real quick. Make sure we didn't catch the lip on the ground. can't believe what's happened so far on the vlog we're carrying it over from the GoPro this thing was very snazzy stomped it in first gear with tracks control and it was on the entire time so that's a pretty impressive uh well I'm editing now kids are inside it's quieter out here and uh <laughs> that went way different than I expected it to the salesman was awesome he was a blast details by messenger because we found the car on Facebook and uh on the way down there I told him I was bringing a video camera not to think I was weird because I had a YouTube channel and then the rest kind of went from there he made sure I brought my camera when we were in the car <laughs> He held it for me, filmed, said he had had a YouTube channel prior, said he was the guy for the commentary, and was having a blast every bit of the way, so I can't complain. Um, where we are with the car, I'm not really sure. They only offered me twenty one grand for the Corvette, which is a 2011 Grand Sport 2LT Target Top. It's only got 52,000 miles on it. It's got a supercharger, boost to pump, and some other stuff, but I don't expect... The dealership to give me money for that but professionally i do look at native values and 21 grand was like 2300 dollars under rough trade-in and i do have a fender bender on the car's history from back before i owned it with somebody else and uh but it still doesn't excuse hitting me at 2000 below trade-in so I gave him some numbers. I think like 27.2 is like clean trade in. So I don't even expect that. I getting capital out of me as a down payment. And I'm not signing for your car unless you give me more than 21 grand from a Grand Sport. Or we will chill or we will find another one. I've already told them we have a yellow one down yonder from that particular car. Literally 20 minutes down the street. Has a, a lot less miles. Only 8,000 miles versus 30,000 miles. But it is $6,000 more. So we will see what happens there. We are playing by ear, but I have not driven a GT350 yet, so I wanted to do that check. I also needed to see numbers and get some ideas and see what the audacity was that a dealership was going to offer, or a dealership was going to offer me for the car. But uh, until next time, just stay tuned, and uh, we'll cover Camper Corvette, RX-7 V8 Turbo, Harley-Davidson Mini Jeep type stuff, and hit them with the outro. We out. Bye-bye. Yeah, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the like button and make sure you comment down below. But definitely subscribe. That's it.